Hello, this is just a quick video just to say my opinions on an investment watch you should look into right now. And the brand is... Uh, you probably see the title, haven't you? Hoya! <laughs> yeah. Not to be mistaken with Tag Hoya, who, you know, is the brand now. The brand before, just Hoya on the dial. So, Hoyas have been gaining a lot of traction recently. They didn't really fetch much, but now, you know, you got the Camaro, the original Ortavia, original Monaco, Monza. Oh, I was going to sneeze. So, if you've got one of these, please hold on to it because they are really going up in value. The Monzas, especially, I've had quite a few Monzas now. And they all sat around the between thousand and fifteen hundred pound mark, but now they fetch well over two thousand easily. Best thing, hold on to one. Or if you're looking for a brand new watch to get into, buy a Hoyer. I would suggest the Monza, but leave one for me because when I have the money, I'm going to get another one. If I was to recommend one, get the. <coughs> if I was to recommend one. I mean, I shouldn't recommend it because I want one again. But if I was going to recommend one, get the CR2110. Phenomenal watch. It is gorgeous. There's one on eBay right now. I don't know the seller or anything, but there's one on eBay right now for £2,500. Don't buy it because I want to buy it. But if you buy it, it's a good thing. So yeah, I think, I think the main reason why they've gone up is they're kind of considered vintage now. They were vintage before, but they're like, you know, some some watches when they go vintage, they just drop in value. Like the some Seamaster models, they just don't sell for anything. But some of them just, you know, rise up in value. It's like with the uh, original Monaco's. It was like a, a PVD coated one that went for thirty thousand pounds at auction. It might have been dollars actually, so probably like twenty five grand. So if you think about it. Between me and you, that's a lot of money, that you. So, long-term investment, but a real enjoyable watch. Definitely go for a Monza. But another model is great to look at, the Hoyer Silverstone. They really, it was known as the ugly duckling of the whole family of Hoyers. They are going to rise in value. If you find one, definitely go for it. I genuinely like the design, and I think... In the future, it will be worth a fortune. 